Hi, my name is Senior Citizen Sue, and today we are making a spaghetti squash salad with tuna. And I know that sounds a little strange, um, almost unappetizing, but uh, we'll see how it turns out. I have not made this before. So what you will need is one uh, cooked squash, and I already cooked this. I boiled it. I had never cooked it that way before. I usually, you know, slice it in half, scoop out the seeds, and you know, cook it in the oven. But anyway, so uh, I boiled this. I did this last night. And we will need mushrooms, green pepper, an onion, two hard boiled eggs, white, uh, solid white chunk tuna, celery seed and mustard, dry mustard, and uh, mayonnaise, Sweet pickles. Um, I was in kind of like a healthy grocery store and I couldn't find regular sweet pickles, so I just got bread and butter. I thought that might would uh, might be good. Um, some vegetable oil, and if I don't have quite enough, I, I'll use a little olive oil. Hopefully that won't ruin anything. And I think that is everything for the recipe. So what I'm going to do first is get started on the... Uh, salad dressing right away and hopefully like I said I hope I have enough of this so I need one quart and as always everything will be down below in the description box the ingredients and the quantity so hopefully I have enough of this because I kind of don't want to use olive oil with it but it looks like I will have to okay let's get that in there well, almost. And hopefully the olive oil won't make a difference in the taste. I mean, it will, but not, hopefully it won't make it for the bad. So let me grab my olive oil. Okay. And I do have more olive oil in the cupboard. And I couldn't find a vegetable oil at the healthy type grocery store. They just had canola and, well, of course, a ton of olive oil. And I'm going to need a hair more olive oil. Boy, I'm really scraping the bottom of the barrel today. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Let's hope this does not mess things up. All right, there's the olive oil. After going through three bottles, we have it. Okay, one quarter cup of olive oil, and then we need one half cup of mayonnaise. So let me get that in there. Yeah, this recipe sounds really, really strange. And I hope I'm not wasting my money by, you know, buying these ingredients. Well, the squash, I didn't buy too much. The rest of everything here is pretty much staples anyway that you would normally have in your cupboard. All right, that looks good. And it, uh, for the, it requires, now when you have your pickles, it requires you to reserve one half cup of pickle juice. Let me double check that, excuse me, one quarter cup of pickle juice. So I will drain that and get that into my measuring cup. Let's see if we can get this guy open. Ooh, did it. All right. Let me just drain this right over my measuring cup. I'll use a spoon, that might work. Oh, it looks like I'll have enough. Good. Okay. And pickles will be going in here, so let me check it out. Okay, just a hair too much. I'll dump a little back in. All right, looks good to me. Okay, so here is our dressing. Let me get that mixed up. And this needs to refrigerate for three hours 
for the uh, flavors to blend. And I am definitely going to keep it in here uh, in the fridge at least for three hours because I want to, you know, get the full sample of the taste of how everything is. Okay, seems a little runny to me, but that spaghetti squash will probably soak everything up. Okay. All right, that looks good. Okay, now um, I need to get my squash in here and then the rest of the ingredients and I need to chop everything up. So I will be right back everything after everything is all chopped up. So hold on. Okay, everything is all chopped up. I have the uh, seeds and everything scooped out of the uh, spaghetti squash. So here it is. And I uh, used a whisk to blend the mayonnaise a little bit better in this dressing. However, I do need to add my celery seed and my dry mustard. So for the celery seed, we need one quarter teaspoon. Oh, so we'll get that in there. Okay, there's the celery seed. And for the dry mustard, we need one half teaspoon. Okay. All right, let's whisk, whisk that together. And this recipe does not call for any salt and pepper. All right, that looks good. Okay, I'm going to get my squash in here. Okay, and I think I'll give that a stir before I put the other ingredients in. Now the recipe called for one seven ounce can of tuna. Those are hard to come by. So I have two five ounce cans of tuna. We'll just have a little bit more tuna in here. And you can see what this looks like. You know, it looks sort of good. We'll find out, won't we? Okay, so here is my tuna. Uh, this is albacore and I drained and flaked. So we'll get that in there. I'll drain and flake the tuna, that is. Um, okay. Let's get these in here. I have the sweet pickle, onion, green pepper, hard boiled egg, and mushrooms. So let's get that all in here. All right. Okay. And like I said, this has to refrigerate for three hours for everything to be well blended. And it looks like that was, uh, you know, that dressing was not too runny. And I can see why this needs to blend together for a while. Well, you know what? It actually smells good. This is some good news going on here. And um, I am going to get this in the refrigerator I'll be back in three hours, a half a second for you, so I will see you in a bit. All right, it has been three hours. Here's the moment of truth. Looks good. Let me give it a little bit of, of, a, of a stir. All right, let's dish some up. I want to make sure I get everything in here. Okay. okay, here's a close-up look on the salad. Let's give it a taste. It's good. I really like it. I could use... Hold on. 
although the recipe did not call for salt and pepper, it could use a little salt and pepper and maybe even a dash of garlic powder. But this is really, really good. It sounds like a very strange recipe, but it is quite tasty. I recommend it, and I'm definitely going to make it again because it is a fairly healthy salad. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.